I'm back at the mill. We're restoring an awesome chainsaw. But I need a set of gaskets for this thing. They don't make them anymore, so we're gonna make them ourselves. So we've all been there, it's nine o'clock at night, you got a carburetor torn apart, you gotta drive your truck to work in the morning, and you tear a gasket, or you need a new gasket. Parts store's closed, so you grab a razor blade and uh, your, your gasket making material, and you get to work making a gasket, and something you know that's torn, has some nice shape to it, you end up cobbling together something that looks about like that. <laughs> and uh, you know, that's exactly what happened to me. I've got this terrible looking gasket here. I mean, it's gonna work, but it's not the prettiest. This little bitty sliver right here of uh, gasket. I found a cool little tool that I actually had around my house. Well, I didn't have it. My fiance had it, Amy. And uh, I got to looking at it and I said, hey babe, can we try something? So Amy's a graphic artist, she's awesome at it. And she got a Cricut maker because that's one thing that just extends her ability to uh, have fun, both being a maker and having that background in graphic art. She designed a bunch of stuff for the museum during the festival with it, and it was fantastic. Really, really appreciate it. I got to looking at it and I said, I got a hundred bucks, says that thing will make gaskets for me. It's a pretty easy setup and steps to this. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you have the correct measurements. So what you do is you'll just take your small ruler, you're gonna come in and you're gonna snap a photo with a reference point, right? Some place that you know you'll have a known distance. So you can go the entire height, like from here to here, and just have that in a photo. You'll throw it in Photoshop and um, then you'll mask that essentially. It's, it's not difficult to do. And then transfer that over to the Maker program the maker program has a function in there that allows you to set your measurements so you set your measurements you throw it to the to the printer you load your material in the machine you send the command to the cutter and it starts to CNC cut out your gaskets okay now let me say this there is some trick to getting it just right but we never missed not on one gasket everyone came out perfect and we cut all of them for this crazy chainsaw build that I'm working on right now. So yeah, this is the gasket we wanted to reproduce. And then this is the gasket that we cut. You can see it still has the little tabs in there. You just pop those bad boys out. And um, it is literally, absolutely the exact same size, shape, and you can hide them behind each other like that. So when I bought this setup, I didn't think I'd be using it to make engine parts, but when Justin told me he was having trouble cutting out these gaskets by hand, I knew he needed a little bit of technology. I wasn't having trouble. I could cut anything <laughs> out. So we input our images into the design space, but our design files are not to scale. So we have to find out exactly how big to make them. So what I'm gonna do is take the cutting mat that's in the same scale as the design space, and I'm going to put the actual gasket on it and it's really a rough estimate, but it, it can give me some frame of reference. So I'll just find wherever it's the most defined point. I can see that this edge comes all the way out to eight centimeters. And so that's what I'm going to scale it to. It's got these awesome little carbide blades right here, guys. They're about eight bucks a piece, but you can cut uh, seven ounce or is it seven ounce leather? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We need two of these. So once we get them scaled to the right size, we're just gonna duplicate. So just continue the process until you have everything laid out. sure about the thickness so we did 16 passes that's like I, I treated it like leather but I'm gonna hit cancel and are you sure you want to cancel yes because I'm positive it's done and shot it out for us we'll get the tripod set up and we'll show you guys what we got oh look at that nice cut
<laughs> perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There you go, guys. Perfect gaskets, man. It's unbelievable. And you, you know how hard that would be to make something so thin with a curve by hand. I think this machine costs like 400 bucks. I wouldn't call it cheap, but to me, like we bought this before I even thought about doing this. And then uh, I saw it work and I was like, oh my God, can that thing cut gaskets? <laughs> you know, so leather work, right? If you're, if you're making any kind of leather, you can throw it on here and have it cut it out for you. There's so much you can do with it. Even if you don't want to cut it, you want to cut it yourself, this thing, you pop it open, it'll hold a pin right here in this one, and it will actually mark it out for you. You can draw your patterns. If you make a bunch of axes or a bunch of knives, stuff like that, and you have specific patterns, you just put them on the software, throw it in there, and then it'll mark it out for you and grab your razor blade. You could cut it out if you want to. So here at the museum, we keep this stuff in stock. So these are giant rolls of Felpro and um, good stuff. We have all thicknesses so we can measure it out and all different kinds. We have the rubber impregnated cork, the tan fiber sheets in all different thicknesses and sizes as well as the black stuff. So yeah, this is what we used on that project. And um, you can see how clear it cuts it. It is so cool, man. And you just pop your pieces out. You're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and coat all our new gaskets with the copper gasket seal. Um, just because, I don't know, I like the look of copper. So hopefully it'll help out in case we do have any leaks or we've made a mistake somewhere and we're gonna see if it works. We're gonna let you guys know how it does. So stay tuned, the chainsaw build will be the next video coming up and uh, God bless you guys. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and Christmas is on the way. Now you know what to uh, put in the stocking for your wife. We all know it's really for you. <laughs>